Hi folks, my name is Mitch, doing another video on a game that I'm currently playing called Harvest Town. Please keep in mind that this game is in beta right now, so anything mentioned here may or may not change in the future. <clears throat> uh, today we're going to be doing a guide on taking uh, out the level 49 boss. Um, and we are going to remove all the gear. <clears throat> uh, by this point in the... Uh, I guess in the occult cave you should have some type of gear on by now. <clears throat> if you haven't been lucky with spinning the wheel or monster jobs or anything like that, um, people have mentioned about <clears throat> saving up all of your um, your dark essence and spinning uh, saving right before you spin the wheel. <clears throat> uh, do a local save, then exit if you don't get what you're going or what you're looking for. And this repeat the process until you grab, uh, you get the item. So I was fortunate enough to obtain uh, two broadswords uh, from my travels from floor 40 to 49. The thing that gave me the most issues were uh, the slimes itself, but <clears throat> it wasn't too difficult because I'm using a live weapon. <clears throat> um, this has become one of my go-to weapons. Uh, compared to the other one, which is the Titan. Um, I just prefer the lie just because of the range. Uh, okay, with that being said, I'm not going to be using a wooden sword. I did happen to find a rusty sword. Uh, so this attack is actually um, 13 versus 11. So we're going to be using that. And we're going to be giving this uh, boss, um, I guess, a tetanus. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's do what we've done before. We're going to be using a attack potion. No, not attack potion, sorry, a defense potion. And we're going to have our life potion on our heads. Uh, so the fly itself does a couple of different attacks. Um, it does the, the red tiles on the floor. <clears throat> you got to avoid that. Uh, and then it also does that stun option. Uh, so just keep that in mind. It's pretty much similar to the previous bosses. So let's uh, get the battle started. Okay, so this fly actually goes through walls. It's pretty crazy. All right, so that's the floor attack. I'm gonna get away from there. That's the other floor attack. That's where we can stun or use a pot if we need to. All right, we're going to be using a pot here. Stun. Get out of here, use a pot. Again, if you don't have potions, uh, making um, food would be very wise here, just because this fly can do quite a bit of damage, especially if you are not geared or under geared. Oh, well, I bumped into a will. Uh, yeah, it, it is a stupid fly, so. And of course, his life reset. So that's a big problem that we have to deal with. That's what happens when you get out of battle. When you get out of battle, then his health resets. I better stay away from that little tombstone there because I don't want to mess up again. It does take quite a bit of time with a rusty sword. 
but I'm pretty sure this attack is working. Alright, uh, the stupid fly is now dead and it dropped me a red moon blade. So that's a def that is definitely an upgrade from the rusty sword, uh, especially if you're using that uh, to try to kill this fly, uh, burning through your pots at the same time. So that's a pretty uh, good upgrade. <clears throat> uh, that's also an upgrade compared to the broadsword as well. So 151 attack versus 247. Uh, the baseball bat is 290. So a baseball bat is still better than that. All right. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And uh, feel free to leave a comment below. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.